everyone, this is Christina Rilo, your love expert here at aboutflowers.com. And I'm so super excited to be talking with you today during the holiday time period because it's so full of love. Like what better time in the year to show your love for the people in your life? So you're going to be out there going to parties, you're going to be visiting family and friends, you might even be traveling and staying at people's houses. So how can you easily and simply share the love? I have a couple tips that I use often. Um, I'm a big giver of love. When I think about going to visit someone, going to a party, going to visit someone's house, I always say to myself, Christine, we know what you would do out of obligation, right? Because there's those expectations that when you go visit someone, you're supposed to show up with something. So we feel all this obligation, which then creates stress, which then sometimes creates anxiety. And we don't really want to be giving from that kind of energy. You don't want to be giving a gift to someone from the energy of obligation. You want to be giving from the place of love. So before you decide what you're going to bring, what you're going to give to this person who's hosting you, stop for a moment and say, instead of saying, well, what should I do? Stop for a moment, close your eyes, and just imagine that person in your heart. You might even want to put your hand on your heart. And just imagine that person in your heart. And even if you don't know them that well, like even if it's a party where you don't know someone that well, just go ahead and even imagine the person who invited you to the party. And imagine the people, if you're going to go be staying at someone's house, imagine them in their home. And then from this place, with your heart open, ask the question, what would you love to give to this person? What would I love to give? Now, one thing I love to give, because I know the power of flowers, are flowers to people. It's actually a proven fact that flowers emote love. Rutgers University did the study and they were able to prove that when people receive flowers it's the same emotional wavelength as when someone sees a baby or a puppy. You know, the instant heart opening. So for example, if flowers are what you choose, when you go to pick up the phone to call your florist or you go into the floral shop or you go to purchase the flowers, when you get there, actually again, close your eyes, put your hand in your heart and envision this person. And then pick your flowers out from there. Then when you go to the person's house, if you're the person that's actually going to be delivering the flowers, again, when you gift it to them, really open your heart to them, look them in the eyes, that's the window to the soul, and say, thank you so much for hosting. Now they might be kind of busy, so they might want to run away, but just take a moment and put your hand on their body somewhere. And just say again, no, really, thank you. This is a token of my appreciation, and my love, and my gratitude for you. So make the connection between the gift and the feeling you're wanting to give to people. And if you're sending the flowers, if you're sending the gift before you get there or after you come home, which is a great thing to do, is actually send flowers after you visited someone to say thank you, put in the note have the person write a big heart on it and say, thank you so much for sharing your love with me this holiday season. And use the words love. They're powerful, powerful words. So, from my heart to your heart this holiday season, I'm wishing you much, much love. Go share the love. Bye-bye.